Look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? It's been sitting on 3% for the past 45 minutes. Like I'm just so confused because the Wi-Fi is working. Everything else is working. Like, look at that. I've just opened YouTube. I don't understand. The only thing that's not working is my video. It's not uploading. Why is the Wi-Fi working for everything else but my video? Sometimes I just can't believe my luck. You see, I wouldn't be panicking about this like this much, but because this video is going up today, I'm panicking. I think I have to go and sit in mug and bean for a bit. Honestly, I am so sick of mug and beans food. No offense, mug and bean. I am just so tired of forcing myself to eat your food so I can use your Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh my God, it just changed to 4%. Congratulations, well done. I'm so proud of you. Hello? Oh, the trap. This is the first time. Look at this. Traffic on the farm. This is the first time I've had to wait here, man. Jeez. That was exciting. So I told my mother that I have to go to Mug and Bean because I just have, I'm having Wi-Fi issues. And she told me to slaughter one black fowl and do one prayer. Like, can I ever have a serious conversation with that woman? You have a mother that gives you proper, like, motherly, solid, concrete advice. You better be putting that in your gratitude journal because I, I don't have that. Maybe she's got a point though. Maybe I should do a prayer. Say a little prayer for you. We should slaughter one fowl for Escom. I think they need the fowl more than me, huh? That's what I like. Robots turning green just as I get there. Hey, hey! At least one thing is going right for me. All that talk of prayers and fouls and suddenly the robot is green when I get to the intersection. Maybe my mother has a point. So I asked my eggs to be well done. Like I need the yolks to be well done. But look at this. No, I don't know how to tell them because I don't want to seem like high maintenance. But I genuinely, I can't eat this. Like I, I can't stand yolk touching. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I don't know what to do. Why? Why didn't they just get it right the first time so I don't have to complain. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just I just sent my food back. Oh my god. That was the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. Look at my new eggs. so neatly they're not running everywhere <sighs> my equilibrium has been restored i just went to the dentist and I think it took two minutes he, he even said that there seems to be no problem with my tooth it took him two minutes and then I came out with a bill for 1,075. Listen, I know that I'm not very good at maths, but that's not adding up. But the thing is you can't even like question these things because they use like all these huge words and it all adds up to a thousand. And also, I don't know about you guys, but like even at my old age, I'm still so scared to go to the dentist. Like I'm, like I'll have a sleepless night the night before just because I'm so scared of the dentist. I don't, what is it? I just hate 
opening my mouth to strangers it's just so like violating do you know what i'm saying also the other way around i don't even understand why anyone would want would choose to do that like how is that a satisfying job uh anyway i can't be bothered it is time for me to go I have a bit of time before work though so I need to I desperately need a lip ice because firstly don't ever buy this one this is absolute nonsense the worst lip ice in the world goes to Blistex because it just leaves this like weird foamy waxy thing on your lips and I am so annoyed because I had like I think I had like three, I think I have like three lip ices and I leave, I leave one in every place that I like most frequently inhabit. <laughs> There's always one by my bedside pedestal. There's another one where I walk. There's another one in my car and my trusty lip ice from my car is gone. <gasps> I've been searching for this thing for the past 507 years. And just as I'm telling you the story, I see a glimpse of it in my side pocket thing. I'm done with this day. Anyway, at least I saved however much this would have cost me. All right, well, that whole story that I just told you, just erase it from your brains. It was such a riveting story anyway. So I have no regrets about telling you that story, although I'm sure you do have regrets listening to that story. So a lot of women, not all, but a lot of women love shoes. But I'm not one of those women. Like I am so indifferent when it comes to shoes. And so I kind of just buy them when I need them. I have a baby shower in a couple of days. And I realize that I don't have a heel that matches what I'm wearing. I'm actually, I'm wearing for the very first time in my life, I'm wearing the color orange. <laughs> I've never worn orange before. But then I realized that I don't have a heel to match that dress. I can't wear my black heel just because my jewelry is gold. So like I can't just slap on a black shoe. It's going to look odd. Honestly, it's so stressful being a woman. Like why can't I just be a man, you know? just slap one pair of pants on one boring shirt finished but now here's the thing and this is what i hate this is probably why i don't care about shoes now that i think about it um i am a size 3 but even a size 3 is like too big for me um i i would say i'm like a two and a half but do you find adult shoes in a two and a half no you don't and then when you go to the kids section all the shoes are like pink and glittery and they've got stars on and bloody Elsa from Frozen. You, you see my problem. Let it go, let it go. So I bought these shoes, but my foot still slips out. This is when I really miss Korea because finding shoes there, it was like, like no problem at all finding shoes they are my size. If you are not familiar with Korea, they don't have like sizes two, three, four, all those numbers. They have like 200 and something. So in Korea, I was a 200 and 245, I think, which sounds like a very random number. Like why would they choose such high numbers? But no, it was actually very smart and accurate. Um, they were going by people's by your foot size. So my foot is literally 245 millimeters, which makes a lot of sense because did I not say that I'm more accurately at two and a half? Anyway, <laughs> um, I bought these thingies from Discam, which you can put at the back of your shoe. This only costs 50 rand, so is this really going to work? I don't know. Leather heel grip. So what they're doing is they are putting it, putting it like that. 
also um, when I was at the dentist I must have been like so angry from the fact that I just paid a thousand rand for an unproblematic tooth but um, I walked out in such a huff that I went and tried to open the wrong car and I'm just standing, I'm, I'm standing there for like 30 seconds and I'm like why is this like I'm cleaning the handle and everything like why is this car who asked them to also have a fire engine red car it wasn't even a Suzuki it was a VW <laughs> Thank God that car was empty. Okay, is this gonna work? Oh my word. It actually works. Hectic. Hectic. I'm in shock. I was like, this thing's only 50 Rand. There's no way. There's no way. No way, man. Okay, now it's still kind of slipping. So basically, okay, but it's not as bad as before. So basically, I must not walk fast. All right, now I think I'm ready for Joe Walk. Tell them how much you're gonna miss me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a ball when you're gone. I think tonight I'm gonna catch a movie at the movie house. Oh. I'm, I think they know where you catch a movie. No, in case you think I'm gonna sit at home and watch movies. No. And Who even says movie house? Look at the public toilet right here in front of us. Excuse me? I should have brought my binoculars. This I... is what I'm saying. So now they don't even care. No. They just face traffic Nobody and Nobody cares. You want to see? See. I don't even know how to explain. No, don't. He was just um, finishing up. <laughs> You're putting it so mildly. He was just finishing up. <laughs> wow, is that the way to finish up? Ooh, bye -bye. <laughs> oh, Baba. Okay. You're starting your weekend with a bang, I say. You know, we're not going to like stop laughing, no? I'm talking about you. She's so ridiculous. I'm hey. so ridiculous. That stupid man. She'll laugh now all the way home because she saw something that she wasn't meant to see. I got this shock. <laughs> okay, oh, then okay. we are taking your car to test drive. Tomorrow I'll take the car for test drive. First we have to wash it. That car is filthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please wash it. No, I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to take it to the car wash and you must pay for it. I don't think I'm going to pay for it. <clears throat> then we're going to... You think we should go see, watch another movie? You don't even know what movie they're showing. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm going to go In your car. And... Maybe after that we'll go for a drive to South Broome somewhere and check out the lights. <laughs> you mean the robots? I just arrived like how cute is this place and she's kept it so unbelievably clean like I'm scared to even touch anything like did she buy this place yesterday it's so clean oh look at this little bathroom oh my god it's just so adorable like look at this no man Ugh. super cute huh super super cute i am so exhausted you know i was just thinking like it's so weird to think that just a few hours ago my mother and i were laughing at this guy whooping out his schlong in the middle of traffic and now i'm i'm in joburg just like that just like that just like magic huh? um but what, what an intense day. I almost missed my flight. That is the first time in history 
that I almost missed my flight. Um, it's a long story, but yeah, I almost missed my flight. And because I was so close to missing it, they didn't even allow me to check my luggage in. So I had to take it with me to the plane <laughs> and then they kept it on the side for me. Oh, but luckily I don't, I don't know what it is about my luck, but I am so thankful that I always get like the best Uber drivers, really. I always get the best. They're always so lovely and chatty. Uh, today's guy was no exception. Oh, I must remember to, to, to tip him. What a lovely guy. We were both just ranting about load shedding and how how the government's killed us all. And yeah, it was a great time. Oh my gosh, also, also. I met a subscriber at the airport in King Shaka. I know you're watching. I just want to say I am so, so sorry because she was so... I've even forgotten your name. I'm the worst. But she was like so excited to meet me and I had to cut things short with her because I was like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm like going to miss my flight. So I had to cut things short. I want you to know I'm so sorry that I did that to you and I wish I could have like chatted a little bit longer or whatever but i really almost missed my flight so i was in such a hurry okay i need to do some work because i'm still working i am really proud of myself i managed to plan this entire day with all this traveling around my work so that i do not miss my deadlines I'm amazing. I know, you don't even have to tell me. I'm amazing. Same with tomorrow and same with Sunday. I do not plan to miss any work. <laughs> I'm, go I'm flying, driving around, going to the baby shower, doing everything and still not missing work. But Sam, you're a machine. I know. Guys, what was that? That sounded like a gunshot. And you know what? I'm in Joburg, so I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> got to get milk and she doesn't have milk which is really not that I have milk with Roy Boss but I would have enjoyed a cup of coffee but I can't I can't have black coffee it is the next day I have actually been up for a very long time you guys one thing I've learned is living in a complex like this it takes a lot of getting used to there are so many sounds people are talking and it sounds like they're talking in here not outside people are banging doors cars are zooming past airplanes are zooming past granted i am very close to the airport so that's understandable but just a lot of sounds that i'm i'm definitely not used to you know, I'm very used to waking up to the birds and, oh, I think I miss Oreo. <laughs> God, it's, it's been a day. Anyway, so I've been up for a long time. I've been doing work. My morning work is done. So now I just have to focus on the baby shower, which I don't have a lot of time. I, yeah. Did you hear that? That is someone's laugh. Oh! While we're here, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me pack Makeda's gift while we're here. Oh, I keep forgetting that's hot. <laughs> okay. So, a lot of it you've seen already. Listen, we already know from my last video that Makeda is all about black, white, gray, nudes, all those colors. Unfortunately, I bought this bag. <laughs> Like when I made the mistake with my gift, I bought this bag as well. And I was like, you know what? I'm sorry, Michaela, but I'm not getting another bag. Can you see that I gravitate towards anything colorful, vibrant, that this is me? Um, also, one other bloody gift that I had to bring all the way from Shepston is this 
big ass book my mother wanted uh Mikaela. so Mikaela, if you're watching this this is from my mother she wants your son to be educated as do i but um this book is quite heavy and i had to lug this with me from bloody shepston so you better read all these stories to him but it is very cute um fairy tales for little children there are all the classics all the classics are in here they have like these cute little i love illustrations like this like very scruffy very scruffy illustrations i love that uh i'm i know i'm a little bit weird i i loved children's stories when i was a child even now to this day i love children's books with the illustrations they're so like magical to me hopefully this is the first book that you'll be adding to his uh, bookshelf. This is Michaela's card, which I handcrafted. <laughs> That's cute, huh? I love those colors. This is Woolworths. I love those colors. I also left all the slips in here just in case. You never know, like, maybe she's gonna hate what I gave her. And as you guys can see that Michaela and I have very different tastes, <laughs> it is very possible that she will hate what I give her, so. I'm giving her the option to go and exchange. I'll leave that card in that book. And then you guys have already seen the onesie. It's so cute, but I don't want this to like, I'm scared it's gonna spill everywhere. Um, I also didn't like tie it or sellotape it or anything. So we're just gonna like place it there and hope for the best. And then I'm just gonna like, Covered with this pink paper. I mean, you know, sure, like it's cool. Like it kind of looks like fire coming out of it. Oh my gosh, actually, I was gonna say it's so like farm style and rustic, but actually, I love it. So, happy, bo uh, not happy birthday, happy baby arrival, Michaela. Okay, you ready? This is what I look like. Here's my orange dress. Oh, I wish I had someone here to show me my dress, but that's the best I can do. Uh, my gold shoes. I like it. I think orange looks good on me. Don't you think? I like it. I brought the red lip out again. Special occasions only call for this. And I thought, because I brought my brown, my nude lipstick as well. Because I thought nude would also go nice with this. But then I thought maybe it needs like a pop of color because it's like orange and then my brown skin. And I think I think it'll do better with a pop of color. What do you think? Just a word of advice. Always listen to your mother. Always. No matter how old you are, listen to your mother. Because did my mother not tell me to bring a round adapter, you know, for the hair dryer? The, the round one. Did she not tell me to bring that? And I was like, no, man. She's gonna have that there. It's an Airbnb. Did she not have that? No, no, she didn't. So I actually went to the neighbor. <laughs> what a what a legend. What a legend. He opened the door for me and I could see that he was still half asleep and he was like, okay, give me one second. <laughs> and, uh, and he brought it out for me. He saved the day. He saved the day. One good thing about living in the city is you have neighbors right next door to you. They're not like five kilometers away from you. I have to go a little bit early because Michaela wants some like shots. Not shots as in shots because pregnant women should not be doing that. Shots as in like video shots of the place before everyone gets there. So I'm going to try and do that for her. Almost forgot my jewelry. Oh my God. That's the jewelry I've gone for. I wanted like a, like turquoise vibes, rings, uh huh. So we're going for turquoise, orange, and then a pop of red. Cool. All right, we're ready to go. I will see you there.
at the moment. <laughs> From South Coast side. <laughs> Farm auntie, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the reaction I wanted. Hello, I am back from Joburg. Ah, let me sit. Goodness gracious, I that was an intense weekend. I just showered and washed my hair, and um, there's no electricity, so we have to deal with this for now. Um, but yeah, it was a very intense weekend. Um, I would not recommend working and playing at the same time. <laughs> I did it and it would be nice if you would focus and it was successful but I'm just exhausted from like juggling work and play at the same time. Tired. Dead. Yeah anyway the baby shower was a lot of fun. Um, I of course I knew absolutely no one at the baby shower the literally the only person i knew at the baby shower was michaela and um and i barely got to see her because she was sitting on stage but i'm that type of person if you invite me somewhere and i know no one i will still probably go i'll be like awkward for five minutes but um after five minutes i basically just become myself and then i start talking to people as if I've known them for a hundred years. Oh, and Michaela's friends were really lovely. That also helped and they, you know, accepted me with open arms, even though I'm like uh, triple the age. <laughs> oh, and I met like, I met quite a few subscribers there, which was very surprising. I was not expecting that. Um, so hi to all of you. I'm pretty sad to be back. I I just came back to a whole lot of load shedding. I've realized that the south coast, I don't know why, but we are hit really badly with load shedding. Maybe it was because I love I, I stayed close to the airport, but they had they had no load shedding there. There was no load shedding at all. The only time I left my Airbnb was for the baby shower. The rest of the time I was at home at the Airbnb no load shedding yeah i was pretty sad to leave that anyway overall it is good to be back in kzn i'm acting as if i was away for like weeks i was away for a weekend <laughs> uh, but it is good to be back in kzn kzn it just has like some magic I, it cannot be explained i'm afraid but it's just some magic that we, as, as soon as you arrive at king shaka airport it's just like I'm home. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 9 hours. No, from 8 to 4. Is it 8 to 4 or is it to 5? We had load shedding from 5 to 7 in the morning. And now there's maintenance from 8 to 4. What are they maintaining? Nothing. And we have a new minister. The Minister of Electricity is doing very well, I must say. I'm telling you, this is stage 8 and they don't want to label it as stage 8. But so why is it only for the South Coast? Every now and then we're going to have maintenance from 8 to 4. Just know that it's stage 8. I'm exhausted on my insults to this. You must be mad. We can switch the generator on. Oh. Why are you looking at my food? Well, I watched some from 3 o'clock. 
I heard. I didn't even know you woke up. He woke up at 3 in the morning to watch the Academy Awards. 95th Academy Awards. I mean, can you be so obsessed? You are definitely retired. I couldn't definitely. Was it worth getting up for at 3 in the morning? Well, at least I saw Nicole Kidman in a black dress with a slit right up to her hip yeah, showing her beautiful leg and then there was this Indian woman who presented the award for the Indian one oh. some Padiga, Dipika Padiga, very pretty oh, and so white. sweet but her hair wasn't, oh, no, she didn't do her hair sweet. well she didn't have a hair iron no, I like the way she did her hair, but it was a bit untidy. But why didn't you get us up? I would have killed you. 